Robin Atkins, uh, you run an organisation called TRAP. Firstly, what is TRAP all about? TRAP is all about local residents gaining access to the amenities they're entitled to. Be it housing repairs or gardening supplies or whatever, anything to do with the council, basically. That's what TRAP is and we help anyone that's entitled to help. So can you give us an example? Yeah, for sure. Um, it may be it's, um, you might have a broken front door or your, you have a leak or your banding's wrong, or etc, etc. They come to our group, we advise them to contact the council. If they get the run around to the council, we then pass them on to their local ward councillor who will take up their case. It's as simple as that. So it's sort of a, a middleman or a middleman stroke pressure group? Absolutely. Absolutely. Why, why, what made you come up with this? It started off in Greys, because I used to live in Greys, um, and I helped a neighbour along the way, he showed a broken door. Um, then word got about, oh, go and see Robin, he can get things done, and it just snowballed from there, really. We started off with half a dozen people in the group. We now have over a thousand, going on to 1,100. So, you know, it's an easy group. And do you have an average number of, sort of, complaints or inquiries a day? Complaints? Uh, not really complaints. We get inquiries. It, it's quite busy, actually, Michael. We get... On average, I speak to eight or nine people a day on the phone. I might send 20 or 30 emails, depending who they need to go to. Text messages and inbox messages. It's a full-time sort of job, if you like. Yeah, I was going to say, it must be a full-time job. Oh, absolutely. But it's, it's rewarding. Because when you speak to someone and they're upset because, you know, they can't get their banding or they're, they're, something's broken, da, 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 until they go through the whole procedure from start to end, then you get the thank yous that go on the page. And it's... And that's what we do it for. But the council don't have to speak to you. You're just Joe Public, aren't Absolutely. you? Absolutely. They don't speak to me. <clears throat> Data protection. What it is, the person will say, hello, Robin, I've got an issue with, say, I keep saying front door, but say my, my front door is broken, what do I do? First thing to do, ring up the council, say you've got a broken front door. They will repair the front door if it needs repairing, or they replace it if it needs replacing. If they, do, if they get the run around, oh, it's been passed to so-and-so, someone will see you in three or four days, etc., etc., then I will... Um, say well, where do you live, well, I live in Perfley, or Grays, well, going to speak to such and such. If that don't get results, then I say, well, I speak to a local board council, I don't know who that is. I know I have to on their behalf and say, I would email from, say, cancel the bed, because this is a baby, really, because I, I had to uh, run this past him first. Hello, Robert, I wonder if you could help me. This lady who lives in your ward is having trouble with her front door. Her name is Mrs. Smith. She lives at such and such, and that's, what, that's me done. Because I sort of relate to this. Did you used to live in Seabrook on Rise? And, I did. Seabrook was. And did you find that people at Seabrook Rise were getting frustrated with a lot of things? Yeah. Because it's one of these areas, you could almost, you know, whether I'm generalising, you mm. get certain areas in Thurrock that sometimes people get a little bit frustrated. They've forgotten, you know, like Garrison yeah, Estate, yeah, it's the same issues. Seabrook. It's, yeah, it's the same issues in the same areas. It's namely Greys, not so much Greys, but Greys surely. It's Tilbury, Chadwell, Ockenden, Perfley. And they, in the winter, it's the complaints you get or the inquiries you get are damp, mould, boiler not working. Have you learnt a lot? I mean, you've got involved in politics on a local level. You turn up to council meetings, enjoy the, uh, the cut and thrust of that. But also the process. Have you learnt a lot about how to deal with, with councils? Um, I, enjoy, I enjoy the policy. I have uh, bone, bunged up, is the word? I don't know. Boned up on the housing policy because I like the housing side of things. I speak to, I go to full council meetings because I like to introduce myself to councillors because I don't like to cold email councillors. I like to say, look, I've run this group on Facebook. Would you mind if, on, a, on occasion, would, I, uh, would you mind if I email you on behalf of someone else? And they're very receptive. They go, yes, more than merrier. Because we're slightly drifting off the subject, mm. but you know, it's still about what you do. Because people are still interested in local politics, but it's when, it, for example, Yesterday morning we printed a story about Arena Essex going, mm -hmm. and, we, and that story, and then people saying, and this is we're going to replace it. Some of, we had something like 17,000 page mm -hmm. views. Mm -hmm. You put a story about the local plan, yeah. it doesn't mean much to people, but when you say Arena Essex, yeah. Lakeside Hammers is going, suddenly it means a lot to people, Absolutely. doesn't it? Absolutely. And what I do, I go onto your page, and I copy the link, and I post it into my group, and we do have lively debates in there. Mm -hmm. It's not solely about broken taps and gates not working, and this, that, and the other. It is about the local issue. And people like to debate, um, but they and they and they vent because they don't know who's vent to, Michael. And you know, if they pick up the phone, they don't know who to speak to. You know, they get past and please suppose. But on my group, they can 
it gets it does get lively but you know it, it's just people expressing their opinions do people sometimes get at you and do you feel oh why no, am i doing this no no absolutely not do you know what i've made quite a lot of friends over this and, I, and um and i've introduced a lot of people who it's quite funny to say that Mark, because we're branching a bit into track into kill children with special needs um yeah so a lot of people in info don't know who to approach it when their child's just been early diagnosed, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So mums on there go, well, my child's got that, and they pair off and they chat, and it goes off on the tangent. So it's like a community group, really. And do you see yourself still doing this in two or three years' time? Why not? Why not? I mean, you know, the problems ain't going to go away in front, are they? You're still going to get damp and mould and leaky doors and gates not working. And da, da, da. You're still going to get them issues. Is it perfect? No, but we get in there. I, I like to think so. And in our way on track, but hopefully, with the back of the... I've got to say, mention Councillor Bledu, because she's baby, really. And Claire Baldwin as well, Councillor Baldwin. She's an she's, uh, admin of the group. She does a lot of emails for us. You know, there is a need. And it needs not going to change. It needs not going to go away.